Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our October 17th, 2023 Global Meditation. My name is Saad Ala, and I am part of the ground crew. Uh, I live in Florida, and the other members of the ground crew are Anna Larai, our voice, also known as Ribbons, and Christian, who both live in Vancouver Island. And we have Maria, who comes to us from Germany. Paula comes to us from Montana. And we make up our ground crew. And on that note, I'll turn you back to Anna Larai. Thank you, Sarala. Welcome, everyone. Glad to have you here today. And a um, couple of quick announcements. And the first one you can probably see on your screen is we are just uh, a short time away from our online gathering that begins the uh, 29th of October. So we're, uh, what's today? 17th, they're 12 days away. So uh, there is still an opportunity if you would like to join us as part of the divine service. You can join us for one day. For, the, for Sunday, joining us on the very first day of the gathering, or for all five days. And um, there's more information on our website, thealchemycollective.org. And I wanted to let you know that next week, our global meditation on, uh, let's see, next week. On the 24th, please note there is a time change um, because we will be in uh, the Dominican Republic. So it will be at 6 a.m. Pacific. So sorry, those of you on the Pacific Coast, but it will be at 6 a.m. So that is 9 a.m. for those of you in Eastern time zone. And in Europe, it is various times, depending where you are. So. Um, Next week, we will be on a much earlier time frame. So we'll be two hours earlier than today. Wherever you are in the world, it's two hours. We'll be next week, we'll be two hours earlier. And as always, it will be recorded and up on the Alchemy's website. And there will be no global meditations in November. We will be at the gathering. And when we don't do global meditations when we're doing a gathering, and then I'm going to take a few weeks off. So our next will be on, I think, December 5th. Or let's see, I better tell you the right date. So the next one after next week, will we have December 5th. Okay. All right. And the rest of our announcements will come at the end today. So... Let's get connected to the light and see what the alchemy have for us today. So I'm going to ask everyone, oh, pardon me, there go the energies already, to consciously connect to your highest self and just see, feel, or sense as I bring in that pure source light. So just receive. And you're consciously connecting to your highest self. You're receiving this beautiful source light. And just see before you a beautiful golden disc. It's quite large. It's larger than a dinner plate. And it's the alchemy's travel disc. And we ask you to step upon it and feel as it brings you up, up, up to the alchemy field. Whoa. And for those of you who are new with us, if you have, it's a beautiful field with long grasses and wild flowers and large trees on either side. And so we ask you to walk down and at the end of the field, you'll see a beautiful crystal. It's really big. It's larger than an old oak tree and it's, the texture and color of quartz, and it's the alchemy home crystal, their home portal. So we're going to ask everyone to come down and stand in a circle around the alchemy crystal. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Greetings, beloved ones. We are the alchemy. And on this day, we greet you. It is our pleasure to be present with you as we get closer and closer to our gathering. And the energies continue to build for this. And so we call forth on Anna Larai, on Christian, on Mother Gaia and Karela to step into the crystal as all of you come and stand around it. And this crystal is our main portal for energies to flow onto the planet, the energies of source. And as you are aware, we work only in group consciousness, so we shall begin to create a group heart for today's session. So see or feel as we bring a purple ray or ribbon. Down through Anna Larai, it connects with her heart and she sends this purple ray or ribbon directly to your heart now. And do not worry, she is not falling asleep. She yawns deeply as the energies begin to shift drastically as they move on upward. And see or feel now as we send a blue ray or ribbon down through the one named Christian. And it connects with his heart and he sends it out to connect with your heart and it goes through your physical body and out the back and it travels to the right and it wraps around this whole group and enters your the back of your heart once again helping to form the group heart and see or feel as mother gaia sends a green ray or ribbon from that we send down to her through her heart and out to each of you. And feel now as Karela sends a platinum ray that we have sent down from source to her heart and she sends it out directly to you. And feel as we send love and light through all of these rays and ribbons to support each of you. And joining you on your golden disc today is an angelic being, an angel who will support you and help you energetically in our time together and feel now as we begin to run the white the pink the golden and the aqua diamond lights and we remind you that all of these diamond lights increase their vibration and their frequency each and every time there is an upward shift so they're not stagnant and each time you listen to the recording, they will come through at the newest frequency. They all carry the codes of remembrance for who you are on all levels. And see or feel now as the white, the pink, the golden, and the aqua begin to flow down through your soul star chakra and down into your crown down into the body
continue to receive And the diamond lights flow down into the heart space and the organs through the chakra system and down your legs into your earth star chakra. The pink supports the human body, the golden is for healing and the aqua is to support your sovereignty. Beautiful. And these diamond lights, we remind you that you can call on them for up to 30 consecutive minutes twice per day. Once of these is only at bedtime. And we remind you that you can call on them in any proportions except the white cannot flow alone. Uh, the aqua cannot flow alone. It must flow with the white. And otherwise, your highest self will always... Mm, Adjust the proportions as best for you. And we ask you now on your golden disc to travel to the Dominican Republic, to the eastern side of the island. Ah, to the west, no, the eastern side of the island. And you will see a platform in the, in the etherics that has been created that is being held there until NLRI and Christian arrive. And we invite our 17 people who are doing the five days with us to move now onto the golden disc here to your location. And we invite the three people that are already registered for the one day to step onto the ledge. And we invite all the rest of you to hover on your golden disks around the crystal around the crystal and we would ask you to begin with the intentions for 2023 and we wish to clarify there have been some questions so we have shared that with it, this gathering our intentions are to work on this within that so that the energetic so that within 2023 all of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. And we want to clarify, when we set a, a gathering intention, we are always, it is not, we, if you will see, we have not said that we, that all humanity will wake up. We have said that that we are creating with the intentions, the ability that humanity can opt who wishes to, as is in divine timing for themselves. It does not mean that there is a mass awakening. 
and that could still happen at some time in the future. But that is not... Mm, It has to be in alignment with free will and the divine plan. And so when we say, when we are setting the intentions and when we are doing a gathering, we are working on the energetics behind this. We are working on the energetics behind it for things that might be currently blocking or not allowing this to happen. So what you might refer to as interference. But we would never force anyone to awaken. That is not our place, nor it is, is it yours. It is always a choice of the soul and the human. And each of you, and this is the hard part, must honor the choices of others. Now, as the frequencies on your planet continue to rise, it becomes easier and easier for awakening to happen. It becomes easier and easier for people to feel that pull of their soul to understand there is something more. But it also becomes more prevalent in those times that your stuff rises up, that there are distractions on the planet to keep you out of mm, your own alignment, to keep you in fear. Because there are groups of in, and individuals and other beings that do not want humanity to awaken. And most of you know and understand that. And some of you like to call this the great battle and move into battle mode, but that is not where we go. It is not about battling. Because when you move into battle mode, you move into the vibration of us and them, win or lose. And we, we work with love. And everything that we do is always done with love. Within the divine plan and allowing each human their own free will to choose. And it is not up to you to say when it should be, for you don't have all the facts. Here in the human body, you can't see the big picture, and that is fine. We don't expect you to. But we don't want you to come to the gathering and be disappointed because all humanity doesn't wake up on the last day. Because that is not for us to choose. We are supporting the divine plan in helping with the energetics that allow people to make their own choices, to help the planet hold a higher vibration, to help remove energetic interference, blocking opportunities and energies. So we hope that that makes sense to you. We hope that makes sense. And if you have a question about this, we invite you to write in now. And you may write in and ask us if you have questions about this. It is important. It is clear. And when we go to a gathering, when you come to a gathering, we ask you to have no assumptions. Because you don't know the whole picture. You don't know what might seem something small and insignificant to you that is accomplished may have ripples bigger than you could possibly imagine. 
And what you might think is important is really something small in the big picture. And so we want you to have no expectations. We want you to come and simply be in service. We want you to come with the intentions to help co-create a higher vibration. And that we always do because magnificent people come to the gatherings and work in group and harmony together. And so we ask you to repeat three times Within 2023, all of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. Within 2023, all of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. Within 2023, all of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. And as you say this each day, when you repeat it like we just did three times, we ask you to set your intention that that energy goes out into the fields and into the planet and into the world. And those of you that are surrounding the crystal, we ask you to move forward and place your palms up, your hands palm up. And you are welcome to put your hands within the crystal up to your wrists and begin to receive this energy, these vibrations as those within the crystal and on the ledge are already receiving. And we are going to go into silence for a few minutes as you receive these energies, these frequencies that are being set up for the gathering. These include the energies of joy, health, harmony, co-creation, divine love, grace, peace, unlimited, and diamond lights. So simply begin to receive and we move into silence.
continue to receive these frequencies will support your body and we remind all of our attendees you should be going at least five minutes every day And if it becomes too strong, you are welcome to step back. Beautiful. And what we wish to do today is we would like to place into the energy of the crystal, into the base for all of these energies are the base for our gathering. We would like to place the intentions the energy of the intentions. Into the crystal. And so we ask you. To repeat again. With your hands in the crystal or being in the crystal. And sending this energy. Into the crystal into the co-creation that will happen. So you may say it silently or out loud, whichever way you wish, but we ask you to send the energy of humanity, all of humanity, and we would take out within 2023. We would just say the, because that is a human time constraint. And so into the crystal, we want the energy, all of humanity can focus can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. And so if you would begin now, we will go into the silence. Uh, we will let you hear Anna Lurai do a couple of them. So I'm placing my intention and set my intentions and place the energy into the crystal now. All of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. All of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. All of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature and now beloveds we ask you to continue this in silence
And if you look on the screen, you will see we have adapted it slightly. Intentions, let's co-create together. All of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. And you're still placing these intentions into the energy of the crystal. And we don't want you to be discouraged because we have taken out the words within 2023. We are continuing to place our intentions within the crystal. All of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. And as you are setting your intentions and sending this energy into the preparation for our October gathering, you are still receiving the vibrations of joy, health, harmony, co-creation, divine love, diamond lights, grace, peace, and unlimited. And if it becomes too strong, you may step out, whether you are an attendee or, or not.
Beautiful, beloved ones, beautiful. And just a little more, and then we are going to ask all of you to step out of the crystal. We don't want to overload you. Beautiful. And so we ask you to pull your hands back and those on the ledge and within the crystal to come out and be around the crystal. And just feel or observe as more of this flow of this new beautiful vibration is flowing into the crystal in preparation for the gathering. And those of you who wish to support the gathering but are unable to attend, we would invite you, should you feel so called, to simply send love, send love to the participants. And you don't have to know the exact names, but if you say, you are sending, set your intentions to send love to the participants of the Alchemy's 2023 online gathering. It will go to the, mm, the group heart to support them. Beautiful. And we ask you to just set your intentions now to start to send love to the participants. At this moment, there are 20, there is potential for more, but just Imagine you are sending love. So a little practice here to the group heart.
Beautiful. And we ask you now to return to the golden disc, return to the alchemy home crystal. The angelic being is still on your disc with you. You are still connected with the rays and ribbons. They expand and contract. And we just want you to take a minute and receive more love. We would like to send you more love and peace. Love and peace into your body now through the rays and ribbons. And just receive. Just receive as these vibrations of peace and love come into you. Beautiful. And feel now as the love and peace gently stop flowing and the diamond lights gently stop flowing. And the green, the platinum, the blue, and the purple rays and ribbons connecting you to us gently dissolve. And your angel embraces you on your golden disc and reminds you they are always present for you. And your golden disc brings you back to your own time and space. And we um, are open to questions this day, but we we like doing Anna Larise announcements because she does so much for us. So let us give you a couple little announcements here. Uh, today at 11 a.m. Pacific, so in a couple of hours from now, is the group Vortex Healing. And we like her Ignite, Propel Your Inner Shift. So if you have something you wish to work on and want some support, it is a great opportunity. And we would also share 
that Anna Leroy has finally been able to order her calendars. And they are in the mail on their, her way to, to her now. And so we will ask the Christian one to get the button available in the store. And these are a great gift for yourself or others, for she charges them energetically. And we do too. We help with this. And uh, she has all the U.S. and Canadian statutory holidays, the full moons, the equinox, and the solstice. And she takes these beautiful pictures and then channels the messages that are inspirational. So those will be available, we hope, later today in the shop. And then as soon as they come in, they will be mailed out. And we would also like to share with you, because this was quite important, that the prosperity workshop that happened this weekend, Anna Rice tells us that uh, we were present, but that it was quite profound for people. And it will be the anchor point for the prosperity journey program that starts in January and will run for six months. And so there are many beautiful opportunities coming up for you. And as always, we invite you to drink plenty of water, to continue to address your own triggers and to continue to bring in the diamond light to support your shifts and change. So our blessings and gratitude to each of you. And we look forward to seeing you next week much earlier. And we remind our Heart Collective that your meeting, the Heart Collective meeting will follow the Alchemy Global Meditation next week. Blessings and love to each of you. We are the alchemy. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Let us know if you have any questions. And, whoops, make sure I'm unmuted. And uh, there's still room to join the gathering should you wish us to join us for five days or one day. Have a great week, everybody. Bye for now.